see that knot's doing. Yeah, it's still there. Right, we're just gonna we're just gonna go through. I'm just gonna take off about three eighths of an inch here. Do it, lovely. Right, here we go. It's a lot smaller. Fortunately, this has left us enough chunk here to make a spigot on. So I'll go ahead and make that. There we go. So you can see all the red splash. I just want to clean it up a bit, really. Reduce that foot slightly. Well, I'll show you this because you might think I'm a bit heavy handed usually but I just want to show you these what we call angel hairs so this is the fine fine shavings you get when you're shear scraping you can see those very I mean almost like dust just about see those there you go that is shear scraping that's what you want to get really fine smaller than hairs that is good stuff and that just gives it a lovely lovely finish not there of course because I'm finished there but absolutely wonderful there this cuts down on the sanding really but it's great when you've got a sharp Got bowl gouge. Hey Rob. So everyone knows what sanding is, it's like this really. See you in a minute. See those sanding cedar, 50-50 mix.
and then you got, you got to be quite quick with it because it does dry so fast but it does go in it now I don't know whether they sell this as a remedy for flu uh, but it's certainly helping me it's certainly clearing my nose out so uh, yeah just don't get your head too close to it because it's a bit whoo. Okay. Using everybody's favourite, which is Hampshire Sheen. This is Hampshire Sheen Original. Wonderful stuff. Super hard coating. Lovely lustre. You don't need a lot of this stuff because it's just it goes one way. And just like that. You just give it a couple of coats. So once it's tacky, you come back and you turn it up to about a thousand revolutions per minute. So that for me is number five. So up there, turn it on, and then just lightly buff that off. Buff it to make a lovely shine. It's unbelievable shine, actually. Lustre. So you can see the beautiful shine that that gives. Really, really nice. And very hard wearing too. So now the bottom's done, we're going to flip it round and concentrate on the top. Now I haven't sanded this because I've still got to take off that bit there because that will affect the finish that we're just about to do. It being a higher level and all so. I'm going to take that off, then we're going to sand this and, and uh, get a decent finish on that. Okay, so that's good enough for sanding. Uh, we'll come back once that's done. We're going to put lots of uh, lots of this ebonizing lacquer on. Did say a lot, didn't I? Right now, I've got to get this off quickly and uh, put the paint on. Okay, so breaking the filming here. It was only while I was editing the film that I realised that I'd actually pressed a button on the camera at the wrong time and filmed all the stuff you didn't want to see and didn't film the stuff you did want to see. Sorry about that. What I can do is show you the products and items that I used to apply the paint in the first place and then you can see when the film starts up again how it's actually spread around on the bowl. I use rust Painter's Touch this is sea blue and I also used rust Painter's Touch and this is silver metallic finish. I used two brushes to apply them to sort of drizzle them over and so once the paint was applied we move on to this next section which is coming up. My apologies again. So there we are, we're in the shroud. Are you ready? Three, two, one. We're going to start slow and speed it up. See the paint is already coming off. Let's just stop it, have a look. Right, now we're going to go for it. Are you ready?
stop it, have a look. Amazing. A bit more. That is fantastic. Let's have a quick look at that. Okay, I'm going to get it off the lathe before it starts dripping too much. Okay, so I haven't got a dust free environment, so this is the next best thing a nice clean box which I'm going to tape shut. There we go, Oliver's wood turning, even the boxes are great. Right, so I'm just going to tape this up and leave it overnight. Here we are, left this overnight. Let's open up, it's quite exciting, really. Oh yeah. Wow. That looks cool. Let's try and get a better shot of that. It's proving a little bit difficult to get some decent sort of close-up video of this that shows the actual colours because of the shine on my lights. But hopefully you can see with the blue and the silver mix. But I'm very, very pleased with it. I love the way the blues mix with the metallic silver there. Even these sort of thin strips as well, streaks. Right, so now I'm going to finish it. So I'm going to dish out the middle. Okay, so mask on. You know what this is the second time in a month that I've uh, 
I've joined the Funnel Club. Two years, didn't do it. And there we go, twice in one month. Another really cool effect using the spin method. I really like it, it's something that you can sort of play around with a lot. Um, I was going to finish the bowl, but actually I've got another use for it, so that will probably be my next video. Um, so here's the finished, as it were, product. You see me peeking over the top. Um, there we go. see where the blue and the metallic silver have mixed up a little and then sometimes you just have these streaks like that very cool and it really does sort of glitter in the light so there we go really another cool effect so this is the second time in a month I've actually gone through the bottom and ruined it. Well, I haven't ruined it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something different. This will be this will be finished next project. I promise, promise, promise you. So yes, I'm going to be tearing this off again. And yes, I'm going to be doing something that I have done before, but it should finish the bowl off really nicely and hide that hole completely so until next time take care guys be safe